when we just left last when we last left my friendly neighborhood we had just entered into uh, the murdery Muppet maze Here we are in the murdery Muppet maze. I feel like we came from this way. We currently have the elephant. We got heels. We got square key. We've got front door key. I'm gonna put front door key. Oops. I'm gonna stash that. Kinda won't. We can keep these stashed for now, too. I'm sure. come across better. We got ammo. We got chocolate bars, which I literally never use. I'll hold on to one just in case the game gives me a reason. I don't anticipate that coming. <clears throat> um, Let's just blindly walk into it. That's what we're good at. How much y'all want to bet that Rocco's in that little mailbox thing and he's gonna like introduce the level to us and be like, oh, what are you doing over here? Don't go up on the roof. Also, there's the biggest Muppet you've seen yet over here and I would stay away from him because he's an asshole. <clears throat> Gordon, where are you going? Where Ricky. Do you think? What's the matter with I thought his you? name was Rocky, I forgot. Be our friend? You have a funny way of making friends. I'm lucky I haven't been hugged to death or eaten. Okay, I admit we're not at the top of our game, but you can't throw us out just because we've made a few mistakes. I'm just doing my job. Uh-huh, sure. I take it blasting your way through hordes of allegedly psychopathic puppets is a normal day at work for you, hmm? Seriously, Gordon? Who hurt you? I don't know what you're talking about. No? So you were just born a bully? I'm not a bully! Surprised you're not a detective. You're kind of a bully. You're always bashing down doors and brandishing guns. Or maybe a GI give you a chance to rampage through some small defense. Don't say that, Ricky. Say what? Don't talk about the war. Why not? Just saying. Seems like exactly the sort of place you- We're sensitive about the war. Out the f I did not pull the trigger then. Yeah, Creeper, you know, they call me Detective Max. Why is that happening? I wasn't even touching the controller. Whatever. You know, Creeper, they call me uh, uh, Detective Max. And it's either because I'm good at figuring stuff out or uh, or they can't read that my name is Defective. I 
gonna check these corners. like where you can make the sound here and it comes out somewhere else. Top notch. Playground science going on. Do I want to go up or do I want to continue forward? I feel like going up is the way to go. And... have any shotgun shells. This is locked. So we learned that. I'm going to go through the little side door over here instead of the big wide door. Did I get a map? Do I remember how to put the map out? Yeah. Okay, this just goes back to the maze I've already been through. And we need to go through the double doors. Son of a bitch! Why is it such a fucking hair trigger? That's not cool. Oh my god. No. I'll turn my mouse off. Just in case. It is... Nah, my... My controller is just borderline breaking. Gotta find a battery. It's one of my specialties. Yep. On the bright side, there doesn't seem to be very many Muppets over here. On the dark side, there doesn't seem to be very many Muppets over here. Also, there was that mouse rat dog wolf thing. City Tribune, Monday, September 7th, 1981. Last night I was watching a rerun of one of the old newsreels from the war when one of the stories jumped out at me. In one operation, a platoon of our soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the timbers supporting the tunnel began to fall until a private, Joshua Hartwright, caught it on his shoulders. As he held up the wood, his friend scrambled out under his outstretched arms until after everyone else was out, he let go and the tunnel collapsed in on him, burying him forever in the earth. When I heard that story, I felt a mixture of emotions. Pity for the waste of human life, anger at the injustice of the war, but most of all, I was horrified. Horrified that a person might have to do such a thing. 
horrified that it was being held up as an inspiration. To lay down your life for someone else, to lose everything, to have the veil torn and the scraps of your life vanish into nothingness. How could anyone ask someone else to do that? Why would, who would do that voluntarily? And if you don't do, they call you a coward? Feels like foreshadowing that I'm gonna have to sacrifice my life for these Muppets. And I don't want to. It's actually foreshadowing that I've got shotgun ammo now. Fuck these Muppets. <laughs> That's a triangle key. I do not have triangle. Triangle still eludes me. I'm afraid of going over there. Let's check out this greenhouse. Plants have eyes. Wait, are Muppets plants? Is that why there's so many of them? Are they cloned and grown like plants in here? something in the in-between area. Oh, it was the elevator controls. Jam solvent. It's empty. Looks like it drains if the chemical is wrong. Okay. like it takes liquid. So I'm looking for three liquids. Maybe I can use this to dissolve whatever's blocking the elevator in the hotel. I got the triangle key. When two puppets love each other very much, they plant a garden and grow an infinite amount of deadly homicidal clones. Various jam solvent. Sometimes jam clogs up the hotel elevator. If this happens, you can unstick it by applying this compound, add the following into the mixing station bottles. A uh, jug of Lumalux film developer, one gallon of weed out weed killer, and one tub of virtuoso trumpet polish. Turn on the water using the tap. Follow. Press the following buttons the indicated times. Red for one to two seconds, green for one to two seconds, blue groove for three to four seconds, and green two to three seconds. Red, green, blue. Red, green, blue, green. Okay. Not four colors, just extra. I'm assuming that this is still red simply because of that. We got a door to open there. We can immediately we can open this door. We got so many triangles that we can open now. We got the battery for that thing. We got more health. We got more ammo. Alright, let's look over here. We're good with that for now. So 
this should work now. Okay, okay, okay. Back in the sewers. There's triangle doors down here. Straight across. part of your day. I always start by getting ready for bed. First, I get my PJs on so I can be warm and comfy all night. Next, I go to the bathroom and grab my toothbrush. You can put any of your favorite condiments on your toothbrush. I choose Worcestershire sauce. Then, I start for brushing my teeth. Get every single part of your mouth covered and scrub the Worcestershire sauce deep into the skin on your mouth. Then, when you're all done, leave it so it can form a protective layer during the night. Now you're all ready to go. Sleep well while I'm thinking about you. <laughs> I need a toolbox. Yeah, sure is, uh, yeah, it's quiet around here these days. Oh, oh, oh I like that. Uh, oh, what is it? Oh, the soup pieces are... <laughs> I'm a friend! <laughs> <sighs> Film storage. Okay, there's at least one of those things that we need. The city has seen a recent economic downturn as a new wave of corporations has emerged, characterized by aggressive policies that place profits before the well-being of consumers. God, this is an unbelievable fiction, isn't it? One such corporation, Nebuzaradan Enterprises, has been acquiring real estate at a rep rapid pace, in many cases evicting the current tenants as part of a program to reshape the city into a community more conducive to its business practices. You can make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, said Ronald Rickbachter, CEO of Nebuzaradan, in a recent interview. While it may be painful for some, we are helping to Create a city that can withstand the future. All right, we got to find toolbox. I think we can go out here and left, then left, and just be at one. I'm a friend. No, you're not. Here to He's here to educate you. Okay. We're gonna stash this mask. We're gonna stash this. We're gonna stash that. Can these stack? Yes. Uh, we're gonna stash these. And 
until I have reason to believe otherwise. We'll stash that. I'll stash one of these two. Lunch is my favorite nope. meal of the day. Whoopsie. You're not a friend, leave me alone, Norm. Okay. And I want to go out that door to the north. So left, left, straight forever. We're all friendly here. Friendly, friendly, friendly. He's starting to win me over. Maybe I can trust him. I learned my numbers when I was a kid. <laughs> here, let me show you how I learned. I'm a The meal? The meal will come! Oh! I'm a little bit... Oh hey, hey! That's not gonna fix it! Ray's just trying to help. Okay. I need a plug to bring in here. In the meantime, I think we go back to the maze. That's true. But I'm about to go use a bunch of this stuff, I think. I think I need to get back home. Go back to the circle. Make a left.
boy. I'm afraid of the dog things. They've pretty much just been established that they will be jump scaring the hell out of me in a little while. Okay, we got one of the liquids that we need. Can't get in there. We can go into the aviary now. There's another door at stage four we can get into. There's a door in the sewers that we can get into. I guess we could take the elevator down go up and grab the, and bring the tunnel up and then wrap around to that door I forgot to use the elevator. Why are they everywhere? They're, they're getting out of stage four. I don't want to start the aviator yet. I'm going to try to make a run for it and go down the slide into... No, I can't go this way either. That's a good point.
Where's the boat at? Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck that. Y'all. You establish the new mechanic and then you just take it away? Awesome. This was totally worth it. I should have taped him up while I had the chance. Why is there a guy in Oh, I only got one bullet! We're just gonna have the, a room. There's nothing on this side. Oh, that scared me. Just barely clipped over to it. Well, coming down here was a mistake. I have no idea what's in here. I can't interact with anything except for the toilets. I can't even, usually, if, even if there's like a puzzle. I gotta get some type of clue.
Yeah, it's right on the map. The only thing that I can interact with that I can find so far are the toilet stalls and the door to leave. Maybe it's just something that doesn't exist yet. In which case, I need to find, figure out how to get out of here without using boats. I can't use the tunnel either. Did I fuck up the whole game by coming back down here? No, no, no. I can get out through the stairs over here. It goes back into the hotel. So, first, then you make were a back big, to normal. big triangle. Just take your hand, <laughs> that's, that's what three lines, for. and they connect you them together. Fingers now, to use. draw a line. <laughs> Dogs at the front door.
a real dog shit room to get through. 